This is a black mist filter. Why I use it? I don't know. I've never thought of using one, but we're gonna figure it out together. So let's get creative. What's up guys, it's been a while. Been kind of transitioning back into the original studio slash office uh, because of weather and flooding, unfortunately. Um, but here we are moving forward and uh, today, I'm gonna to be talking about Irix's Black Mist 1 4th filter. Yeah. Black Mist filters work by diffusing light and helping to lower the contrast without kind of damaging the darker areas. So it can give you a subtle halo effect around lamps or other light sources such as the sun. It also helps by softening the skin so it can help hide blemishes or imperfections during talking heads. So fortunately for us, I have a lamp and I am forced to live with two supermodels. So they might stand in for some talking head shots. Three use cases with the black mist filter. One, interviews or talking head shots to kind of help soften the skin of the subject, which will help hide some blemishes or some imperfections. Two, exterior shots, so with reflections of light or maybe light sources from stop signs or street lights um, when you're shooting street photography. Three, just light sources in general. So with a black mist filter, you should get a subtle halo effect that kind of just softens the glow of your light source. So let's talk about the aesthetics of this filter. This filter is designed with optical glass with an aluminum alloy frame, which gives it a magnetic feature to also be able to switch on and off each of the Irix lens sets. This nano coating is also 18 layers on each side with a waterproof, oilproof, and anti-static uh, top layer. So that makes it super resistant and extreme conditions, which I prefer when mounting on a, ca on a camera car rig. This is also a super low profile filter, so it just makes it super convenient when using it. And also with the design of the rugged edges, it gives you an extra grip when needing to just access this filter. It can work on literally any lens that you have because they, ha they make it in multiple sizes. And if you have the IRX lens set, then they make it for 86 millimeter and it can just switch to all of those lenses, obviously. Um, but if you're in a special circumstance, you can also get their matte box. The matte box has a built-in magnetic system. So therefore you put this matte box on any lens. You have that magnetic system on the front of the matte box and you can just quickly and easily swap around their edge filters. So. Definitely a plus. My take on this is, I think this is an awesome filter as far as build quality goes, as far as what it, the effect that it has, and how it just works amazingly with my lenses and the magnetic system. That's all a plus. Now, with me being a colorist, and really getting into color grading and liking to control the moods of my shots and my films, I don't know if I want this baked in to every um into every shot so i would be very selective on when i use it especially for my films that's gonna wrap it up okay so we can go play okay. all right so take two uh i see this as a great filter to use when i'm filming for a client commercial project or some sort where i know i want this look in the final uh footage and i'm just filming and probably dropping off up and offloading and I could see the client get back to me and be like, wow, that was a great edit, Trey. And it's like, yeah, that was a filter. But that saves me time and not having to do more post work for just a project that I just need to film and drop off the footage. So I see the use cases for it, but I also see where I would be very specific. So uh, Black Mist Filter from Irix Lenses is, is a plus. Um, you should definitely go check them out. You can buy them at their website. But if you're in the Carolinas, you can rent them from me at carolinalensrentals.com.
Peace.